guys welcome back to our channel so i'm coming to you guys with a different type of video today i'm just really excited to finally announce that my fall lip collection is here guys i'm just so excited to show you guys but i pretty much just wanted to make this video all about me swatching the different lip colors and you guys can just personally see what the lip glosses look like and you know all that good stuff without further ado Hope you guys enjoy this video and my swatches and hope you guys are just as excited as I am because this was a long time coming and I'm just, I'm super excited to add this to my collection. So yeah, watch. With me and I have y'all set up on some janky setup. I'm sitting on my little sister's freaking little ass chair in front of a bright ass sunlight. My wig lace is like coming off cause it's hot as I don't know what. So yes, I'm having a bad wig day. We just gonna let that slide, okay? We're here for the lip glosses, sis. We're here for the lip glosses is all that matters. But on a side note, I am gonna sell this 10A gorgeous 16 inch wig. So if you're interested in that, let me know down below. But anyway, back to the glosses. So I literally have all of them in here and I'm just gonna go through all of them. Let's look at these, these are all from the fall collection. I'm freaking excited, aren't y'all? By the way, as soon as this video goes up, my fall collection is live. So you guys are able to shop down below at www.theashantycollection.com. Um, as always, so yeah, first things first, I'm gonna show you guys Alexandra because a lot of people loved her. And I'm gonna show you what she looks like on the lips and how she is. So as you see, she's a gorgeous mauve purple. This is actually my second time filming this video because I've already filmed this for my personal channel. But again, I don't have my camera, so improvising. But anyway, I'm gonna apply her and I'll show y'all. Guys, this is literally just one coat of Alexandra. One coat. I just look at the gorgeous tint that she ends up becoming. And here's the thing about my glosses. Less is more. So if you want, definitely you're going to get pigment. So regardless, you're going to get pigment. Obviously, it depends on which gloss you choose. But you're going to get pigment. Depending on which one you choose, obviously, you're going to get pigment with her. But if you want like a bolder, a darker look, you can literally keep going in with her. And she'll definitely become a darker purple. But if you just want a very simple coat and you want that purple to be there, but you don't want to be like, you know, right up in there then you're good because this is literally her gorgeous mauve purple perfect for fall and like that's the thing with these colors they're all so perfect for fall like perfect honestly for any season like it doesn't matter but they just the color schemes fit fall the best so that's why i did all these and honestly once you take my glosses off as you see my lips are automatically like plumper plumper so not only, again, do my glosses, they're long lasting, they lock in moisture, but they just wouldn't even want to take them off. They still lock in moisture and they just, I don't know what it is about them, but they just enhance your lips. And now you don't get that annoying tingling sensation, but they enhance your lips when they're on your lips. And then they enhance your lips, obviously, off your lips. They still just instantly look fuller. So on to my next gloss. Next is pink opal. Pink opal, guys. Again, do not let her fool you. Like, she doesn't look like she's going to do much, right? Nope. You thought, so listen, 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 listen. If y'all looking for an iridescent gloss, like she looks like she's for fall because she's like a light pink, which I mean she could be, but she's more of like an iridescent, more dramatic gloss and she applies, uh, y'all see how she applies. So this is pink opal. I literally named her after opal and you'll see why. Okay, let me stop using the camera <laughs> to apply this. I named her opal because the actual like opal gemstone is like it changes colors. So you'd think that she applies like just like a standard pink, but no, she actually applies very iridescent and she has undertones of blue. And yeah, this is pink opal. Okay guys, next is this gorgeous soft brown. It was named after like, what do you guys named her on my Instagram? So if you haven't already actually followed my Instagram, my business Instagram at the Ashanti collection, I'm gonna start doing like more polls there where you guys can choose what you guys want to name certain glosses so one of you guys named her and I, this is brown honey i believe is her name i think it's brown honey i want to say it's brown honey i think this is her name and she literally she's the perfect nude that's the best way to put her she's literally the perfect nude so she's good for any season but again for fall fall you just think of your brown so she's like the perfect nude again this is brown honey she's just a gorgeous soft brown Definitely has a brown pigment she could, but again, she's just more of a nude brown, but not really. The sunlight's like not doing any justice, but it's okay. I'm gonna still keep going because today's just been a struggle, guys. So I want to keep showing you guys this. The sunlight is really 
not helping but i'm editing this video i'm realizing that the sunlight doesn't adequately show certain colors like it should so if you want to see accurate swatches go to the shanti collection on my business instagram page you guys can see like accurate swatches what these colors look like because i'm really looking like you can't even like see soft brown in the sun so some of the other colors do look perfectly fine but some of the ones that look a little bit like you can't see them just go to my instagram for some swatches because yeah the sunlight is really not doing me justice it's 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 okay it's okay but anyway this is her and honestly so all of these glosses you can either pick a scented option or a non-scented option and her scent so if you pick a scented option she literally i made her smell like i'm not even gonna lie your freaking grandma's fresh baked cookies like i'm not kidding literally smell like grandma's cookies so honestly i shouldn't eat grandma's cookies honestly but that's what her scent is if you guys choose to do a scent so yeah Next, okay guys, next color is this gorgeous cherry red. And she's named Rose. Okay guys, this is her. This is Rose. Yo, y'all see my gloss? Y'all see how glossy? Insane. The sun is killing me. She's more of a tint, I would say, than more of a gloss. Like I definitely have a more pigmented red coming up which is red diamond, but she is more of just like a tint. She tints your lips this very red, like a cherry red color. Like, she's gorgeous, but she's more of a tint. I would consider her more of a tint than a gloss, but y'all see how glossy, like that's another reason why I did more lip glosses than lipsticks. I feel like eventually I'll do lipsticks, but my thing is with gloss, like you don't have to worry about that, like chalky feeling of lipstick. You don't have to worry about it matting up. You don't have to worry about it like you know how lipstick is you just you don't have to worry about it but when i do create a lipstick it's gonna be ultra freaking creamy and ultra soft just like my glosses like glosses are ultra ultra glossy ultra creamy ultra sick silky but i'm just i'm excited because as you guys see i just love makeup i love cosmetics and it just means a lot when you guys support me so yeah if you guys are liking what you see so far as always www.thinshanti collection click the link down below to completely upgrade your lips so your lips aren't dusty crusty and musty like y'all see her I know y'all see here but yeah i just wanted to make this video because i feel like this is different next is the epitome of fall and every basic bitch pumpkin spice guys she's literally she's a perfect fall gloss because she's like she's a sheer tint and but her biggest thing is she got them orange sparkles in her like look oh, i don't know if y'all can see she's orange sparkles in her let me show you her so I want to go away for her like in the sun these sparkles are ridiculous ridiculous you see if I oh sun come out let me see she literally applies very sheer and very clear but has a stunning a stunning sparkle like she just literally gives her lips just a perfect amount of sparkle like, it's not like if you in a dark, dingy room, not like you'll be able to see her. But as soon as you step out into the sun, my dude. Oh, it's just, it's bouncing off my lips. I, I just, I don't know how to describe rather than that. But yeah, this is pumpkin spice. I'm going to put her under, I think I'm going to put her under the rare. I'm going to make her a little bit more because she's the epitome of fall. And she's just stunning, as you can tell absolutely stunning but yeah i'm gonna put her under the rare and i'm also gonna put her under my fall collection page by the way guys these are all under i didn't even explain them where they are on my page but they're all under the fall collection on my website so i just made a whole separate page if you guys are still in this video comment hi down below okay if you guys are still watching this video comment hi down below i really hope this is entertaining to somebody out there Okay, so next is Smoky Quartz. I've had her on my site for actually a while, but I recently pulled her because I'm going to put her a part of my fall collection, especially because she's literally the perfect dark brown. She reminds me a lot of Chestnut from MAC. I don't think MAC offers the Chestnut lipstick anymore, so I pretty much created just this really dark and pigmented brown shade. So I'm going to show you what she looks like. She's just as pigmented as Alexandrite. So let me, let me show y'all Smoky Quartz. This is Smoky Quartz, guys. ultra pigmented do y'all see 
ultra pigmented guys this will be perfect for any going out look or if you're just trying to be bold like you can literally do a natural beat like i have now on my face or do a full out glam and pop her on because y'all see again on my website i'm gonna have a label some glosses are scented some aren't um i think she smells like i think she's vanilla smoky quartz i think it's vanilla so yeah this is her. All right, guys, I literally have like four more left and I'm gonna go super quickly now because I feel like this video has been a long time. So. Okay, guys, the so next is Red Diamond. She is my pigmented red gloss. So if you guys are bold and want a bold red lip, this is what she is. Like she literally will provide you that classic, ooh, classic red lip that every, you know, red lipstick is, so. But she, instead of a lipstick, she's a gloss, so. Is all I gotta say. I'm so proud of myself. Do y'all see this? I can't even, I just, it's been a long time coming is all I have to say. It's literally been a long time coming and I'm really proud of myself instead of making like a lot of these gloss companies out here. I'm not bashing them in like literally the slightest, but it seems like they focus more on, I guess, glitter gloss more than anything. And my, I want my glosses to be more pigmented and tinted more than anything like I, I mean I, don't get me wrong like i love myself some glitter gloss but that is the main thing that i wanted to accomplish with my gloss line so you guys don't have to do like lipstick and if you guys just want to throw something on you can if you want to glam up the look and beat your face up and have a gorgeous red freaking lip do y'all see this red lip i can't like I don't, i'm proud of myself because it took a long time and it, i really mixed the formulas i created my perfect formula and i just i'm proud of myself they're super glossy they're super pigmented they're not sticky and they're just all in all just they're gorgeous and I, i'm proud of myself and i hope you guys enjoyed me showing these i literally have three more left and i'm i promise you guys i'm done but this is just i know this isn't our typical type of video but this is just something that I've been working on for a while and I'm proud of. And it's something my boyfriend and I are both proud of. And he's proud of me just as much because he's helped me with this company so much. And he's he's been a big supporter, obviously. And it's just, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot, guys. And I just, I hope you guys really like it as much as I do. That's, that's all what it boils down to. I just hope you guys really like it as much as I do because this is something I put a lot of time and effort and money and just everything into but it's just it's not even all about the money at the end of the day it's just about creating what i want to create and i really feel like i did that and i'm i'm not stopping here that's all i gotta say i'm not stopping here i have three more losses left and i promise you guys i am done so yeah and you'll get back to regular schedule coming low tomorrow so we got a fun little prank coming for you guys tomorrow but anyway all right I'm so, so next is the gloss i've been wearing so much i literally wear her almost in every video this is coral candy named obviously after coral now this more is more and then yeah this is more is more but she's more of just a sheer tinted gloss um but she's meant more than anything to enhance your lips like she will make your lips instantly plumper like for sure that is definitely what she is for that's what her color is for that's just what she does and that's what pink lip gloss is with the little tint that's what they're kind of meant to do more than anything is to really just enhance your lips not even necessarily plump them but to enhance them to make them look bigger so this is her Again, more of a sheer tint than anything, not really more of a pigment. It's more of a slight tint, and definitely if you apply more of her, she will become more pigmented. That's again with all of my glosses, except your pigmented ones. So with my tinted glosses, that's what that how that really works. But she's more of a tint than a pigment. And I think you guys know the difference. If you don't, let let drop a comment down below and I can really explain obviously what the difference is. But this is her, more of your neutral meant to enhance and plump your lips like do you guys just see instantly instantly more forward but okay two more glosses left guys but i'm done okay, guys, next is amber amber i was struggling to really come up with what she is like is she like a bronzy like she wants to be purple but she also kind of wants to be brown so i don't really know what to really call her let me apply her so you guys can kind of see what she looks because she's a very complicated looking color so <laughs> yeah so again, she's like a very bronzy color. She definitely has a clear tint to her. She has a little bit of a sparkle to her too. I don't know if you guys can tell. But she's just more of like, if you guys can see her, she has a little bit of a tint. She's more of a gorgeous, kind of like a purple, but just mostly, again, a sheer tint is what she is with a little bit of a sparkle, like a very subtle sparkle is literally what she is. So this is Amber. 
ash brown. Again, this gloss is more of a tint than a pigment. I named it ash because literally, I mean, it, the color, it looks like it's ash. So not like ash, ash, but it just looks like an ash type of color. So ash is the last color. Again, more of a sheer brown tint. So it has a slight little pigment, but more of a tint than anything. So again, she's perfect if you just want to throw a lip gloss on and have like a cute little tint to it. A cute brown tint. That's what she's for. As always, ultra glossy. I think she's vanilla. I think she's vanilla. But again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, click the link down below in the bio, or you can uh, like you can click somewhere on the screen here um, and shop at www.theashantycollection.com to shop all these glosses that I just showed you. These are just additions to glosses I already have on my website, but I just figured that. A lot of people don't really show if they have a company, don't really show swatches and show videos that they're really doing it. And this is something I'm super passionate about and I really just want to explain and share with you guys more than just me like promoting it in our normal videos. But yeah, guys, again, this is something I'm just highly passionate about and something that I just, this is just the beginning is all I have to say. This is truly just the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, again, we'll be back to our normal schedule to come in low tomorrow. But yeah, I just want to come out and really show you all my fall collection because it's something I've been working on for God knows how long and it's just... It's finally nice to get this out and just show, show you guys, show the world, show you guys. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, this is your first time clicking here. Hi, hello, how are you? Hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, not my next.